So for today, I'm going to be doing a Chit Chat Get Ready With Me, and I'm so excited for today's Chit Chat Get Ready With Me because I'm going to be using all Morphe shadows. Yesterday, I got a huge package in the mail, and my order came in from Morphe. I ended up actually ordering 36 eyeshadows from Morphe. I know, a little cray cray, but I've heard they're such great quality, and I just decided to splurge because they're legit $2 each. Um, I did not get sent these eyeshadows that I'm going to be using today. I did, however, get sent a package from Morphe pre, uh, prior to me ordering from Morphe, and they sent me their entire gunmetal brush collection. So just these, um, these type of brushes right here, they sent me like the entire collection. They are awesome so far, so I'm going to be using some of those in today's video as well, just because I want to. I think it's kind of cool just to be able to show you guys in case you guys are interested in checking out some uh, cheaper alternative brushes, but I don't have to at all. Also, I did, like I said, purchase 36 eyeshadows, which is a lot. I'll just show you guys right now. I keep them in my MAC palette. Uh, this is all of the ones that I picked out. I also have six that are on the side that don't fit in here. I'm going to grab another palette for those ones in the future, but I basically picked these shadows out myself and created my own little palette. So I'm thinking that I might actually do a review on all my Morphe eyeshadows and brushes and just like a collection of my Morphe stuff and kind of swatch them all for you guys. I was thinking it would be really helpful to some people if I kind of swatched every single one and let you guys know which one is like a must in my opinion, but I'm only going to do that if you guys want me to. If you guys do want me to do that video, like thumbs up this video and I will for sure do that and I'll have it up by next week. But I'm just going to go ahead and start with the face first and then we'll go on and get to the eyes and the fun Morphe shadow part. So first I'm going to pin my hair back. I actually got these little things um, as a little bonus with my Halloween contacts in the mail from Pinky Paradise and I thought they were so cute because you basically don't leave like a mark in your hair when you pin your hair back. So for today's foundation I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix and mix it with my L'Oreal in N3. So for concealer I'm obviously using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Every time someone asks me what my favorite concealer is, I always say the MAC Pro Longwear, but my Maybelline measures up. I actually use my Maybelline more, and I'll let you guys know why. I feel like because the MAC one is so, like, pigmented and full coverage, and it takes a lot of work to actually blend out. So on an everyday basis, I don't tend to go for the MAC Pro Longwear unless I feel like, you know, putting in that extra effort. But I'm going to be using one of the Morphe brushes from the Gunmetal Collection. Guys, I'm obsessed with this. As you can see, I've been using it for the past like two weeks. This is the G2 and I love it. It's like a tapered kabuki, but it's more short and chubby. And the fact that it's short and chubby, I feel like it's the perfect size more than the tapered kabukis. I feel like it's just the perfect size for your under eye. Like, see that right there? It's big enough so that you don't have to sit there with a small brush, but it's small enough so that you're not like, you know, getting the product everywhere else. I, like, this brush is perfection. I absolutely love it. I actually ordered one brush from Morphe as well myself, and it was the black one, and it's this, like, really nice, long, fluffy crease brush. So I'll try to use that today and let you guys know how I feel about that one as well. So I've also been loving one of these um, gunmetal brushes. This is the G8, and I've been loving this to set concealer. It's more dense than I'm used to for setting concealer, but as you can see, it's like a, almost like a paddle. Like, it has that really flat, like, side. It's kind of chubby. And it's more dense than I'm used to, which I kind of like because it gives me more coverage. So I'm going to take my Anastasia Contour Kit, and I'm just going to dip it in that banana shade. So now I'm going to take my NARS Eda brush and the Anastasia Contour Kit, and I'm going to take that color Fawn in the middle there and just use that to contour. I'm going to do a very dramatic contour today, um, so, you know, be prepared. <laughs> I'm going to like bring it in a lot and, you know, just make it dramatic because I feel like it. So now for blush, I'm so excited because Tarte was amazing and sent me the blush holiday palette and I'm like obsessed guys. I don't own any Tarte blushes so I really wanted to try them and I'm just obsessed with all the shades and the packaging. I did receive this but I don't have to show it in a video at all. I'm just showing it and using it because 
I'm excited and I'm weird like that, but I don't have to show it at all. So just putting that out there. I think I'm going to use this pink color, but I think I'm going to mix it in with the brown and use kind of more of more of like that peachy brown tone. And because I do have a rounder face, I do just kind of use my blush as almost like a second contour. Like, not really, but I just, I don't really put it on the apples of my cheeks. I just put it right on top of my bronzer. And then that way you're not accentuating your cheeks and your rounder face. So I love doing that. So now for highlight, I'm just going to use my Balms at Mary Luminizer, of course. So just for time purposes and so my battery doesn't die like crazy, I'm not going to be filming my brows. I'm going to do them off camera. Um, but I'm going to be using the ABH Dark Brown Dip Brow Pomade. And I'll go ahead and be right back. Okay, so to get started with the eyes, I'm going to use the MAC Painterly, or sorry, Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I always say Painterly because I'm so used to it. But this is actually Soft Ochre, which is just more yellow tone. So, and now onto the shadows. I honestly can't explain, like, how excited I am. I'm not even kidding, guys. I literally want to dip into every single eyeshadow and just put it all over my face. I really want to try, like, every single one out, but I don't want this look to turn into, like, a freak show. So I know I'm going to just have to pick a few shades that I want to go for and just roll with it. I think for today I'm going to do, like, a mauve -y fall look. So to start off, I'm going to be taking the shade 62. This is my first time using Morphe Shadow, so let's see how it goes. I'm just going to plop that into the transition. Love so far. Like, love. I really can't believe these are $2. Like, what the frick? I love this shade. It's so pretty, like, to die for. I'm pretty much just going to be using these shadows probably all week. Just to really play around with them. I love that color. Like I said, I honestly don't know what I'm doing today. But this isn't going to be like a full on like... Like this video is not about the look really. I'm just playing with these shadows and seeing what comes up. So if by the end of it it's not the most amazing tutorial ever. Or the amazing look ever. It doesn't really matter anyways. So I just used this shade up here. And now I'm going to be taking this shade over here. Which is just a really light kind of rosy mauve color and I'm just going to take that and put it into the crease kind of onto underneath a little bit over that transition shade. So now I'm going to switch and use one of the brushes that I bought and this is the MB23. I really liked it because it looked very similar to my E40 except this is way longer and a little bit more tapered. So this is both of them compared. As you can see this is more like wider and fluffy whereas this is more straight I feel like this would give you more precision so I'm going to try and use this for the um, crease like kind of that crease and inner outer V color I'm trying to like look and see which shadow I'm going to use this is like the tell all moment I'm so like I just want to use every single one but I think I'm going to use this like reddish brown mauve brown. It's like a really amazing color. It's very different. It's almost maroon, but not really because it's still chocolatey. It's it's awesome. Now, I don't know how this brush works or anything like that or how the shadow is going to come off of my eye. So I just put a tiny bit on the brush just to kind of start off and let's see how it works out. Well, I can tell you right now, I love this brush for crease shadow application because you just get it's like tapered enough so that it gets perfectly into the crease but it's like long and fluffy enough so that it kind of blends it out at the same time I do wish it was a little bit less dense though I will say that I love that shade I don't know if, you to if I told you guys what shade that was but I that was actually number 24 I'm just taking this small brush Cleaning up those edges, this is the G10. And then I'm going to highlight my brow bone and my tear duct. I'm going to take the shade 03. And it's just this really nice, like, ivory white shade. I'm thinking that I might just go ahead and put this really nice, like, champagne-y, rosy kind of shade into the crease just this shade right here it's very like shimmery and pretty so I'm gonna go ahead and use that without any uh, water or fix plus or anything like that let's just see how 
it works out on their in a, on its own. Sorry. So I'm just putting that onto the lid, and oh my god, the pigmentation! Oh my freaking god! And I'm really gonna bring it up there because I find that I have small eyelids, so if I don't bring it up there, it's not really gonna show. I'm gonna take more of that shade. Sorry, I have a little paper here where I wrote down these shade numbers and everything because I can't just easily pop these shadows out, check the back, and find out what the numbers are of them. So I wrote them down because I got you guys. I have to tell you guys the numbers, obviously, if I'm talking about them. So I made sure to write them down and everything. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. Um, I'm going to take more of that shade 24, and I'm just going to put it back into the crease again because I kind of lost a little bit with the lid. And I'm just going to bring it up and fluff it around. And now I think I'm going to take that shadow 24 again and possibly take that in the kind of outer corner area. Just a little bit, not too much because I really like actually want the lid color to show. So, so with the G18, I'm going to take some more of that shadow, the 24. And I'm going to put that in the outer V a little bit better. I feel like that packs it on a little bit better. And then I'm just going to blend it out. And then I'm just going to pack on a little bit more on the lid of that. Um, did I tell you guys what number that was? Number 76. And it's just that really gorgeous like half champagne, a little bit of copper, a little bit of gold in there. And I'm just going to put that back onto the lid. And then I think I'm actually going to take that same shade we just put on the lid. So taking my Sigma E40 brush, I'm going to make sure it's clean and there's no other shadows on there. And then I'm going to take the same shade, number 24. And I'm just going to put that on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take this really dark brown kind of charcoaly shade and this is in the number 26 and I'm just going to put that on top of the um, on top of number 24 just a little bit just to help fix the undertone of it because I feel like putting that shade on the lower lash line kind of made it look a little bit too kind of looked a little off so I'm just fixing that up. And I feel like that's a lot better. I feel like that kind of fixed the tone of it. So I'm just going to take my little blending E36 brush from Sigma and just blend out the lower lash line. I never really thought of mixing like that coppery champagne with, um, with that mauve purple eggplant shades. But I think it looks really cool and I love it for fall. So I actually just went ahead to add a little bit of deepness. I went ahead and took the black shadow number 28 and just kind of darkened out the lower lash line at the bottom there. And with these shadows being done now, I'm going to go ahead and do a winged liner. I actually got sent their Morphe eyeliner, so I figured why not just try it in this video since we're already using Morphe shadows. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to like this, but let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to do it off camera to save time and to save my battery life. And then I'll go ahead and be right back, let you guys know how I liked it and everything like that. Okay, so I will just say, I feel like that Morphe gel liner was the best gel liner, gel liner I've ever tried. Even better than my ABH one. It's a lot smoother than some other gel, gel liner, eyeliners I've tried. I don't know why I can't talk. Um, and I actually really liked it. I did do my wing liner a little bit more dramatic than I usually do, but I really like it. And I did obviously throw on some mascara and lashes. I used the Quo 803 Lashes from Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. I love those ones. So now onto the lips. I'm going to be using a really nice deep mauve brownie plummy type shade. I actually have worn this color before in my videos and you guys really loved it and I really loved it and I kind of miss it. I'm going to kind of go with the theme that we have today of this like mauve copper going on and use this really pretty mauve lip color. I'm excited because I love it and I, I haven't worn it since in that video. So I'm actually going to be pairing it with the perfect liner for it. This is also by Essence. It's the lip liner in 05 Soft Berry. It's perfectly matches it. It's just like a shade or two darker. So I'm just also going to fill it in. 
I am like obsessed with this shade. I love it so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the lip color on. Hello, freaking gorgeous. I love this color. Like I'm obsessed with it. And these lipsticks are two dollars and forty nine cents. Like is that a joke? It's they're absolutely amazing. And there we go. This is the pretty much completed look. Let me take off my hair because you guys are probably like, girl, your hair is still tied. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. I love how like the coppery looks with the kind of mauve purple shades that I got going on. And I'm obsessed with this lip color, like obsessed. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, if you guys want a full review, kind of like swatches video on all of my Morphe shadows, and I'll kind of include my... Uh, brushes as well at the end and let you guys know my thoughts. I would love to do a video like that, but I really want to know if you guys actually want it. So if you guys actually want that video, then like thumbs up this video and I'll get the message. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I love to be able to interact with you guys on there. And it just means a lot to me if my subscribers are actually following me on there as well because I can interact with you guys and be able to ask you guys questions and show you guys different things. And I haul a lot of things on there as well. So um, don't forget to follow me on there. It's at Amy Macedo, same way that it's spelled here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah. And then I'm going to be taking the shade Sable with the um, Sigma E25 and just kind of do, put that in the outer corner in the